You own a certain number of shares of stock. If the stock drops 10% in one day, what percent would the stock have to gain the next day for the value to return to what it was before the 10% drop? So it might seem like if a stock drops 10%, if it gains 10% the next day, it would return to the original value. But that's not actually the case, and let's see why. Let's just assume the starting stock price is $100 per share. Let's determine the stock price after the 10% drop. To do this, we begin with $100 and then subtract 10% of $100. To find 10% of 100, we convert 10% to a decimal and multiply, which gives us minus 0 0.1 times 100. Simplifying, we have 100 minus 0 0.1 times 100 is 10. 100 minus 10 is equal to 90. After the 10% drop in price, the share price is now $90 per share. Now we'll determine what gain is needed to return the stock price to $100 the next day. To do this, we begin with the reduced price of $90, and then we'd have plus some unknown percent times $90. Let's let the unknown percent be equal to x, which gives us x times $90, and this must equal the original sell price of $100. Again, we have the price after the 10% drop of $90 plus x, the unknown percent gain times $90 must equal the original stock price of $100 per share. And now we solve for x. x times 90 is equal to 90x. Let's write the equation as 90 plus 90x equals 100. The next step is to isolate the x term by subtracting 90 on both sides. Simplifying, 90 minus 90 is 0, giving us 90x equals 100 minus 90 is 10. 90x means 90 times x. To solve for x, we divide both sides by 90. Simplifying, 90 divided by itself simplifies to 1. 1 times x is x. We have x equals 10 ninetieths, which simplifies to 1 ninth. But we want a percent, and therefore we'll divide 1 by 9 to convert to a decimal, and then to a percent. Going to the calculator, 1 divided by 9 is equal to 0.1 repeating. If we want the percent rounded to one decimal place, we'll have to round the decimal to three decimal places. So we'll say x is approximately 0 0.111. And 0 0.111 as a percentage is equal to 11.1%. So now we know the stock must gain approximately 11.1% to return to the same price before the 10% drop. And it is important to recognize that while we did use a starting stock price of $100, it would not matter what stock price we started with, the gain would still have to be 11.1% in order to return to the original stock price before the 10% drop. I hope you found this helpful.